When you get into it, you have to know that it's what you want to do. You have to put all of your heart and soul into it. And when you do that, if you enjoy it, it is one of the best things that'll happen to you. One of my goals as president of the Oak Tribute Livestock Show was to continue to provide experiences for the kids to, to demonstrate the projects, to exhibit their projects, to show off the work that they've done uh, to the rest of the people of Okeechobee County. My name is Ben Butler. Uh, this is my second year as president of the Okeechobee Youth Livestock Show. Uh, I've been a member of the committee for going on eight years, I believe. And um, it's been a great opportunity. I enjoy working with students, working with 4-H and FFA. I believe the programs and what they do to, uh, to benefit kids. Taylor Jordan, I'm 16 and I've been doing this for nine years. Um, I like being able to learn more about how to uh, make the animal look nice and how, like, basically showmanship, how to how to do better in showmanship. And I've been working at it for a while now, and uh, I get better and better every year. And I also love how how many uh, how many relationships you build throughout this. You you can make a lot of friends. I. I when I was a kid, I didn't really have many friends. I was a very shy kid. Now I have tons of friends from both beef showing and dairy showing, and now I show goats, so I, I've made a lot of friends through that. Uh, my name is Lady. I'm 12 years old, and I've been showing for four years, and cattle is like my favorite to show, and it's really fun. I get to see my friends, and we get to go to the fair, and we get to meet new people and make them our friends and we get to eat junk food and stuff. I'm Jared Prescott, uh, I've been involved, I was a uh, 10 year exhibitor, came off, went to school, come back and now I've served four years on the board and I'm also uh, the high school FFA advisor as well, so I've been involved for many years. Being the advisor, I've been able to build a personal relationship with a lot of these kids and then you know to come here and to experience it with them here, you know, and to see them being recognized for, you know, all this hard work that they put into these projects, it's, it's amazing. My name is Alyssa Casterson, I've been showing for seven years. Um, my dad started showing when he was a kid, and he kind of showed me a little bit of what it was about, and I got interested. I describe show life as pretty much crazy and fun. I'm Adley Sweer, I'm, I'm, I'm nine, and I've been showing for one year. Because I kind of want him to go because so I don't have to take care of him anymore. And I kind of don't want him to go because he's so sweet. My name is Paisley Annie Dash. Kids could show bunnies because they're so nice and they can scratch you a little. <laughs> the bunny is a hollow lock and, and um, it's a boy and it's a buck. He, um, he's very nice and he scratches me and my mom a little. My name is Brian Trimble. Um, I'm an ag teacher here as well. I have actually been, this is my 20th year doing the sale for OILS. We started when I, we were in the old barn over by the high school. And then we moved here and, and my first year is actually 1997. That's what Ben and I were talking about today. Uh, I've, I actually did that before I actually started teaching and then I became an ag teacher and I sit on the board as one of their advisors as well um, for the for the Yoke Chevy Youth Livestock Show Committee and uh, it's just been a great experience. I mean, that's, that's what it's about as a kid sometimes. My name is Joey Hoover and I've been doing this since 2009, so this is my eighth year of volunteering with the Livestock Committee. Any of these participants that come out here and see their project from the time that they bought the animal to the time it comes up here for sale, that's a commitment. And if nothing else, whether they don't make any money on it, whether they make a lot of money on it, hopefully they learn some responsibility and that when you commit to something, you have to see it through.
So, hi, my name is Carly Minson. I am 12 years old, and I have been showing for about eight or nine years. I would describe show life as amazing and beautiful. You know, the final days of showing are just really hard, and it's like, you know, just a big grand finale. You get to know, you know, it all comes down to the judge and what they like, what they're looking for, and it all comes down to how hard you work and how hard you and your animal work. And, you know, then you come into sale, and it's just really hard to say goodbye to that animal that you've come to love, and he's like a family member. But you know the memory of all the hard work that you and him put together is just fantastic. I'm Brad Lundy, and I'm the treasurer of a Kentucky Livestock Show. These kids get to experience, you know, uh, a little bit of economics. They get to experience some hard work and responsibility, and uh, they build a lot of character too. So it's it's just an awesome opportunity. Okay. Dudley Kurt. Uh, I've been a director for OLS for over 10 years, uh, starting back at the old barn out on 431 North. Um, too many people have the misconception that um, if they don't make money, it's not a success. But at the end of the day, if you've taken care of that animal, raised it, and brought it out here, you are a success. And, um, and the harder you work, um, the more that the rewards you're going to get out of it, you know. And um, so, I mean, it, it, everybody has a different thought process on why they show, and and I I just look at it different. I, I think that there's um, nothing else that you can do that that really brings um, you together as a family and, and take care of this, and it's so rewarding. Surprises are going to happen, but in Okeechobee, we know how to handle. It. I would encourage people who are trepidatious about it to consider that there are things in 4-H that don't have anything to do with showing an animal, even related to the animals. You can get into judging, you can get into public speaking, you can get into quiz ball competitions. That might lead somebody to then want to show, but it's not something that you have to just bail right off into. Um, you know, there, there's ways to ease into it and get in my opinion, really the biggest benefits that 4-H has without ever laying a hand on it. Exactly. 